Okay, welcome new tubers. I'm Brandon Seeger and I'm here with Tom Higgins from Hello. Heart and Hands Winery on Hugo Lake. And today we are attempting to fix a leaky barrel. So the the first step, this looks like it's leaking down the bottom, so the staves are actually set in there side by side to one another so that they're a tight fit. And the problem is right now it's not a tight fit, so we need to bring those rings in closer together to tighten up the staves on the barrels and then re-nail, reposition the nail in order to keep the barrel as a, as a whole. Tom is attempting to get these sort of staple-like nails out of the ring. That's all that's holding that on there, folks. Holy smokes. So why don't we talk a little bit about barrels in general while I'm down here and getting wet. Um, this is sort of a standard size 225 liter barrel, which is about 15 and a half gallons, so we call it 60 gallons because that's easy to work with. Um, barrels are made of staves and rings, so these pieces of wood that go down on the side are staves, and they're held together by these stainless steel bands. Um, this is called the head, so if you ever hear about a sort of a toasted head, you're talking about the ends of the barrels, and the barrel inside is toasted by the cooper, who is a barrel maker. So this, as you, you might notice compared to this barrel is a little bit um, more aged looking and that is the truth. This barrel is uh, about seven years old and so uh, we can use barrels as, as long as they don't leak um, indefinitely really but as time goes by they sort of lose um, their character which is why you're really putting wine in the barrel in the first place is to get some of that woody character and um, as time goes by um, the barrel loses some of that. Well there are uh, a number of different types of oak. All the barrels are actually Amaran. white oak, um, but the it seems to be that the species differ. So that uh, even within France, there are uh, multiple species of white oak that have a tendency to uh, change the flavor profile based on the the pore structure. So uh, some of them have tighter grains, and some of them have a little more open grains. Then there's there's French, which has a tendency to be a little bit tight grain, and then there's uh, some Hungarian that comes into the mix that's that's been um, pretty uh, pretty fluent as of late uh, because it's a nice happy balance between it seems the little more French oak style in terms of the tightness of the grains, but not necessarily the price uh, isn't as uh, as expensive as the French oak. Um, and then there's uh, American oak, which um, comes from a, a, a slew of different forests, uh, whether it be uh, Pennsylvania, Ohio, uh, Missouri, um, Oregon, Washington, or even uh, New York. So Tom is hammering on the barrel. What are you doing, Tom? We're tightening the ring on the barrel. Tightening the ring. He's, he's got all the nails out, and so he's driving tightening this all ring. the joints. Driving it down farther onto the curve of the barrel. And hopefully that will tighten her up. So a little change of plans, we decided that we're actually going to fix the uh, head on there. We've got a leaky head leaking out the side of the end of the barrel here, and so that's not good. And maybe a harder fix than, than what we were attempting earlier, which is just to tighten up the staves on the side. So now I'm going to take all these rings off, and um, Okay, that's starting to come right off, Tom. Great. You like that? I, I do. Now it's on. See, the problem with this one is as this is actually controlling a lot of the force of the barrel. So as you remove this one, the barrel's going to want to open up a little bit more. Sure back. And you can already see around here that that is about to fall in. So that's good. That means we're on the right track. Okay, so here's the head. So here's the head. This is the seam that I was talking about that has just remnants of the original dough that was put in there. We're actually going to make some dough and um, we're going to uh, to fix this head and, and it's not going to leak anymore. We should probably add the flour first. So this is all perfectly measured by the way. One egg. One egg. Fantastic and a little bit of water, and you're going to mix, so I'll hold the bowl. Go 
Go ahead, start next in there, Tom. Excellent. This is how they do it in France. So we're gonna, oh, we're gonna roll that right out here. And are you, are you going to attempt to make sort of a, a long yes. sort of snake in the exactly. Going? Okay. Exactement. Cool. Exactement. Ooh, en français. We're going to now. How are we going to get that to stay in there without sort of? Um, do we have to worry about sort of the oozing? No, because this is dough. Remember, okay. this is a little bit sticky. So, yeah. We've just try and get it in there and try and push I mean, it in as just, much as you can. can. Just smush yep. it a little bit. Yep, sure, sure. exactly. We're not worried about it being pretty. Okay. So this is not the part that's going to be art. It's the outside that's going to be the ah, art. Ah, okay. So for the painted barrels. Right. Okay, so and what oh, is the Painted Barrels? Painted Barrels is the Finger Lakes exhibit of the beautiful artistry that we have in the Finger Lakes put onto the canvas of a barrel. And Excellent. The, and the barrels can be manipulated in any way, except they have to retain their, their natural look as a wine barrel so people can recognize them and they're not turned into, say, a piece of furniture or something. I think we've gotten the dough just right, really. Okay, so just... Okay. So we, we're going to need about probably 10 more inches of dough. And then we will have completed the entire head of the barrel. So How's that for you? That's perfect, actually. Well done. That is not quite pencil lead right there. No, it might be a little bit thicker. <laughs> That's Sharpie. <laughs> like crayon Sharpie. That might be Sharpie point. Okay, so maybe we could... Okay. Um, are there any spots that maybe we should fill in a little bit? No, because what actually happens is you see how the staves are separate right now. Yep, so yep. what we've done is we've filled it with the staves separate. So as, as these staves come together, they're actually going to... Um, increase the amount of dough that's in there, or the dough is actually going to be squished a little bit okay, more, sure, so sure. it'll fill in those gaps. Okay, great. Yeah, it's fine. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay, he says. I don't believe you, so I'm okay. just going to take a little bit and put that right there. Good eye. I'm just going to fill that right in there. Okay. And we've got the head, we actually put the head in the barrel, right. the bungee cord on, and now we're going to you, yank it up. You pull this, you pull the head toward yourself as you apply pressure on the on these staves. Okay. Okay, so that way it has the the barrel head goes into the seam. Okay. Which is what we want to happen. Yes. Okay. So that it's actually gonna push the staves out a little bit and then sort of clunk in the process. Should, yes. And we're gonna be able to so get our bungee cord out. Right, we're gonna because be I don't have any bungee cords and I need that. We're gonna be we're going to be okay. Ooh, raising perfect. this up, it hits the seam and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just need to apply just a tad bit of pressure on the okay. on these staves to keep it in place right. as we pull should the I, should I hold bungee it? cord out. Okay. Oop, there, there we, we go. go. Okay. Excellent. So now what we need to do... It's now ready for the rings? Now we're going to tighten these rings on a little bit. Perfect. It's not in the seam yet. In like Flynn. No, not quite. Not quite like Flynn. Not yet. You're gonna need a little more tension there. Yeah, we'll be in there. Fantastic. So, there it is, right here. Line that up. Always helpful. Right. Okay. Is that the way? Dough is starting to squeeze out. The dough is starting so to squeeze we've, out. We've yes. done our job there. The last ring, ring is on. On, and we've replaced the nails in the side very gently, of course. Well, we've used the same nails. We've used the same nails. Recycle, reuse. Yes. This is a green sort of operation. Exactly. Um, a little bit Martha Stewart, a little bit Bob Vila, a little bit this old house, a little bit this old this old barrel. So, cheers, thank you very much, Tom, cheers. for yeah. helping us out with our barrel. My pleasure. And um, good to see you, and thanks for watching. <laughs>